that's pretty healthy at the moment. We're still holding up the gain. One thing that we need to watch out is there could be increasing of the supply. Right at the top, this is still looking good. We have this sign of strong rally, a pullback, forming a bull flag. Although bear attack on this day, this is where the bear coming out. Last Tuesday, we have a localized increase of the supply, but this is not threatening yet, both in terms of the volume and in terms of the bearish spread. We also noticed that there was a demand tail, even though we have an increasing of the supply compared to, let's say here, or even here, supply has been decreasing throughout. That's constructive. We talk about this scenario where we have decreasing of the upside momentum and watch out for a test coming back. Even if we get that, it's still considered as healthy pullback or healthy consolidation. As long as this bar is not related, this is the most important bar. As long as it's holding up around 5690, that's the, the level that we need to watch out if this level is not related, it could still take some time to consolidate before the breakout. My view is still bullish as long as this level is holding up 5690 or 57. Last Tuesday, we have an increasing of the supply. It's a bearish bar, but only tested this breakout bar, the last commitment bar to the upside. There is no follow through to the downside. On Wednesday, there's demand tail show up. Thursday, slight increase of the supply and compared to when I say overall supply also decreasing and that comes with little candle. That suggests that there's buying showing up right there. There's demand show up. That's reflected on Friday. Friday, we have a bullish bar and almost acted like a reversal bar. But yesterday is still chop around with slight decrease of the supply. This is a bull flag consolidation with decreasing of the supply. Most importantly, this level 5690, based on this last commitment bar to the upside, is not violated. As long as this is holding up, the bias is still uh, up. Pending the reversal bar going up and then to go up, it could take some time to chop around, not necessarily keep going up forever. As long as we do not have a major breakdown, likely that we will have plenty of the uh, bullish trading opportunities. If we do get a breakdown right below, we should see uh, acceleration to the downside, side, similar to this kind of the scenario. Here, we also have the bullish flag pending a breakout that's comes uh, on this part, big bearish spread, increasing of the supply and breakdown, and then trigger uh, a sell off. In case we get a breakdown from here, we should see something similar to have a flash. Hopefully we could get supported at this next level. That would be good because this bar is game changer bar. What we have here is vertical absorption. There's a lot of the demand come in and push a price up and close right at the high. If we do get a, a breakdown, it should come down to test this bar. One half of this bar to about 55.50. That will be ideal case. If we get a breakdown, yet still be bullish. There's a low a higher low and another higher low still bullish. That's the bearish breakdown scenario uh, that I also consider.